everybody, I'm Mark Wallace, and uh, this behind the scenes video comes to you from a question that I got on Twitter, and it's from a guy named David Monorap. I hope I'm saying that right, David. But he said, uh, cool behind the scenes video, you said you added a blue gel to warm the light, wouldn't that cool the light? And he's talking specifically about a video that we did, um, a behind the scenes video about shooting the iPad, and I said, again, that if I added this blue gel to this airy tungsten light, that it warms up the light. And he's, like, he's saying, you know, I thought adding a blue gel is going to cool off the light. Well, we made a video about color temperature that we just published, a, a digital photography one-on-one, -on -one, so you can watch that. But there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk about, but we didn't have enough time in that video. And so um, it's some color theory that got uh, taken out of that episode. So we're going to go um, really old school here, and I'm going to put this on a whiteboard to sort of explain some of this stuff. Now, there are a few things to understand about color. Um, and there are cool colors and warm colors. Cool colors are normally blue, and warm colors are normally in the red and orange area. And so usually when you talk about cool colors, you're talking about blue colors. But that's not true about color temperature. They're actually reversed. Color temperature, uh, hot colors or hot uh, lights are blue, and cooler lights are orange. So a candle, it burns at a really low temperature is orange, and uh, a blue sky in the middle of the day is about 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and that's blue. And so if you have a light like this, this is a tungsten light, and you want it to be warmer, it burns at about 3,200 Kelvin. So that's about where it is on the scale right here. And we wanted to match that to what the iPad was. The iPad, I'm not sure, but it's about 6,000 degrees Kelvin, about right here. And so this light has a lot of orange in it. And we wanted to take the orange and add blue so that it would match this over here. So we're adding blue to this light to make it look like it's a warmer color temperature. I know it seems backwards, but that's how it goes. Now, the reason it seems backwards is that if you're in Aperture or Lightroom or Photoshop, there's a slider that says color temperature, warm or cool. And when you slide it to the left to cool down your picture, what happens? It becomes blue. Well, the reason for that is, again, I watched the Digital Photography 101 for a full explanation, but what you're doing is you're saying, my um, image was over here, it was warm, and I need to cool it off. By cooling it off, um, you're trying to balance the color. And so when you go down on the scale, you have too much orange, and you need to add some blue in here to have an equal balance of blue and amber. So you're actually adding blue to the picture to balance the white balance, not fix the color temperature uh, as far as the uh, warming or cooling down the light. So it seems backwards, but it's actually not. So if you want to warm up a light, you add a blue gel to take it from amber to more blue. If you want to make your flash, like your strobe, your 550 or 580 EX2 or your, your Nikon speed light, if you want to take that and cool it down, to match tungsten lights, you actually put an orange or an amber gel, gel on top of that light to cool it down. You want to add more amber to it because it's more blue than amber. So um, that's how that works. I know it might be confusing, but if this isn't clear and you want a better explanation of this, then please send me a note at askmark at adorama.com and say, hey, please give us a better explanation of uh, color theory, and we might make a few episodes on that. But this is your really fast behind the scenes video to try to explain why adding a blue gel to a tungsten light actually warms it up, not cools it off. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.